And here we go, everybody checking the monitor here to see that we're streaming as we should be. Welcome <clears throat> to the latest edition of the Inworld Review. Yes, you know the program, and this is our second week coming to you from our new studios here on the hypergrid, in a parcel, in the great Canadian grid, no less. And um, we'll be going from here pretty often, pretty regularly from now on. Although we will be returning to Second Life next week just to catch up on some things before we uh, come back here. Now, unfortunately, after last week's spectacular show, I think we're going to be um, a little bit curtailed on this show. I always say that when I think we're going to be curtailed. And, of course, we never actually do get curtailed. Uh, <laughs> we somehow managed to fill the time. Um, but, um, sadly, uh, Maria can't be here this week. Um, through no fault of her own, she has lost her internet connection. And the engineers who are going to fix it won't be able to do so until tomorrow morning. So, sadly, uh, we are without her this week. Um, I can tell you from my scanning of uh, hypergrid business and stuff, it has actually been a relatively uh, slow week on that front. Um, so, we're not uh, missing um, too much. Now... Um, I personally am coming in on myself. Nothing like a bit of vanity, is there? Um, I'm pleased to announce this week that my avatar's plastic surgery has um, sort of come along a little bit and um, has even allowed to grow me some fur. Um, not quite as extensive fur as I'm used to, but um, time will tell. I think I'm looking considerably more um, presentable this week, um, even though you might not might recognize me from the way I look in that other place. Anyway, uh, let's get on with the show. Um, you are watching the World Review, um, brought to you in association with um, ABU TV. And as I said, we're broadcasting from our studios this week on the Great Canadian Grid. In the studio, I do have some guests. Um, I'm joined, um, as always, uh, by Tara, uh, Tara Yates. Welcome, Tara. Thank you, Mel. And my other side, we'll, we have um, Petla Petshop, our camera woman, and who's uh, guest on stage with us again today. So welcome, Pet Love, who may well be muted. <laughs> so. Yes, how did you know? <laughs> was it the deafening silence? <laughs> it, it was one of those hunches, you know, that one has from time to time. I'm just staying true to form tonight, I have to tell you. You're in for a rare treat. <laughs> Very okay, cool. thank you, Mel. You, you are always you are always are um, very fondly. Fond, um, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Fondly <laughs> forgiven for the flubs that never fail yeah, to for favorite, materialize. <laughs> yeah, my favorite. Um, uh, thank you, Mel. That's very kind okay, of you. Now, um, after last week's show, of course, well, we had a bit of music and we had a bit of show and fell and we did our MBTs and, and not like coming in with a bang. Um, but um, this week, um, I was actually going to follow it up with um, somebody who's a, a CEO and um, also a musician to try and do the same thing again. But unfortunately, that hasn't panned out. Uh, they will probably be with us in two weeks' time um, because of other engagements. It's also um, a, a fact that here on um, Open Sim, um, I have no shortage of people to pull into this show, but it's actually a very telling sign that there are so many events going on. Um, um, a lot of people I immediately thought of, hey, oh, hypergrid you, hyperport you over to the show, and no, 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 I'm doing this event, and I'm doing that event. And everybody's doing events. Mm. Um, it's, it, maybe it is as bad as that other platform, the wonderful Second Life. Um, so, so we're a bit sparse here, especially without Maria. However, I am joined by uh, one other guest um, who has actually been on the show before. He joined us in Second Life um, on one of our shows there, but now, of course, he's um, here on Great Canadian, and that's Winter Silversmith. Hi, Winter. Hello, Mel. How are you today? 
I'm absolutely fine. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that I was just about to say, oh, he's muted too. <laughs> no, well, winter, of course, is, um, for those of you who don't know, and I'm probably going to talk a bit about it with Tara and everybody today, um, this uh, fantastic, absolutely fantastic, absolutely, absolutely fantastic bill we are working on here. Um, uh, winter is, of course, our neighbour. Um, we've got a nice little bridge downstairs. It looks awesome on, around that here. Goes, yeah. It goes over to Winter's Land, where, of course, he has some um, other studios as well. But um, he has the offices for the Common Journal, which is the tabloid of the metaverse. And um, uh, uh, you do cover a bit of Second Life now and again, too, don't you, Winter? Um, but uh, I do a fit uh, impacts open sim. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. We're, 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 we're still... Um, we still communicate with Second Life, even though the teleports don't seem to work properly. I think Linda and Hub. Oh, that's just Linda's this week. You know how it goes <laughs> over there. It's a yeah. different feature <laughs> that we get to complain about. <laughs> Indeed. Okay. Why, so, so <laughs> why I'm would you ever want to leave open soon? That's right. All right. Um, now, um, we, I'm, I'm not going to uh, make everybody stick to their seven minutes this week, actually, because, <laughs> um, but I, I, I think we're going to afford to do without that, um, even though we haven't got Maria. Um, but I'm just going to read out from my Twitter feed um, some of the uh, main, uh, main things that rose in the week. I'm not going to give any full links on air because um, I have a, a strange behaving browser here that every, open, every time I open a new tab, it opens a new process. It's uh, called Opera and it is turned into a Chrome and I don't like it one little bit. <laughs> um, so Skype is more important than my links. However, if you want to uh, read my links, uh, just go to twitter.com slash malburns, or one word, and um, all my Metaverse uh, stuff is there. Um, I also post to Google Plus uh, various articles and things that are to do with um, OpenSIM, including Winters and things like that. Um, however, um, I have a link to lavrebwordpress.com, L-A-V-R-E-B dot wordpress.com. And I think this may be referencing um, a, a previous article, though it's um, written differently. And it's about, uh, well, the title is Empathy in Virtual Worlds. So that's lavreb.wordpress.com, and it's um, slash 2015, slash 01, slash 16. And then EMP and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, Justin um, Clark Casey at justincc.org, uh, latest blog, um, has October 2014. Oh, I think this is a misprint. It's down as October 2014 in OpenSIM Dev. It's the latest upgrade. <laughs> I think he meant January. <laughs> of 2015. Somebody's as bad as me around here. That's going to confuse a few people. <laughs> yes, indeed it is. Um, it um, must be a misprint on the fee because I just call, um, copy and paste them straight. All right. Um, I do have an article. Oh, I did actually manage to get a couple of articles open. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, this is an article from a site called the next web .com. I uh, All one word T F G N E X T W E B dot com. Um, slash gadgets and then a whole load of other stuff but you'll no doubt find it on the home page because it was only a couple of days ago and uh, they're reporting that over here in the UK the British Army has turned to Oculus Rift um, to use as a recruiting tool apparently <laughs> if they um, if they tell um, all these unemployed people or, what, or whatever that um, they can um, turn up in the army and play Oculus Rift all day um, maybe they'll get some soldiers um, something like that, anyway. But um, interesting, they're, they're, um, being the military, they're, they're on the ball there. And of course, uh, Virtuazi um, has um, a, 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 a great number of um, uh, things to do. Applications, uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, right, okay, that was just a message in the sky. Right. Now, um, <clears throat> uh, Karen Lavelle. Um, at um, slgovernormarley.com that's g-o-v-e-r-n-o-r-m-a-r-l-e-y um, sl.governormarley.com um, I'm getting a lot of pops popping in Skype I don't know why but never mind um, 
the virtual red light center. Yes. <laughs> is to support Oculus Rift. Who who would have guessed? Is anybody not supporting Oculus Rift? Uh, for those of you who don't know, the uh, uh, Red Light Center is... Um, I, well, I get a bit confused about this. There are sort of two variants. Um, this, uh, the one that we're talking about here is the one that is run by um, Utaverse, who did the um, um, convention, uh, one of the virtual conventions um, last year. But um, anyway, they're, they're going to adjust their viewer and everything else, so you can use it in Oculus Rift. Um, there is, I gather, another red light centre, or it probably has a different name, right out here on OpenSim 2, but um, I'll ask somebody about that later. Um, okay, and finally, um, no, well, say not finally, but finally, if the ones I got open, um, Inara Pei at her um, blog, Modem world.wordpress.com that's m-o-d-e-m-w-o-r-l-d dot wordpress.com um, has an interesting article, I think it was yesterday, um, saying OSVR those are the initials, colon the Swiss army knife for VR, and if I recall I did actually uh, mention last week um, a post somewhere um, that had to um, do with um, OSVR. OSVR stands for Open Source Virtual Reality. And um, there are a number of players involved in this. And it's, um, it's well, um, a lot of commercial companies are using it, but um, the idea is um, the, the um, platform or the protocols or whatever are, are kind of open source uh, to the extent that, you know, they're working with uh, compatibility with playstations and um, as well as oculus of course and uh, various things like that uh, the intention behind them is to provide an environment for cross-platform hardware development for virtual reality with different development engine plugins anyone can use uh, covering uh, different headsets controllers tracking systems and so on i imagine that's the sort of thing that philip at high fidelity might um might pick up on too if it's um if it's open source uh, the, the, the similarities being that hyperdeity seems to um uh, tr adapt to every device that comes on the market <laughs> and they come on the market several times a week so uh go a bit old hardware uh can't give it can we or maybe we can who knows okay so i'm going to close those tabs which might um, improve maybe we could just ask here. them huh we could just ask philip yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, as long as he's not joining the British Army, I don't really mind. Mm -hmm. um, right. Um, <clears throat> now, again, you'll have to go to my Twitter feed for these. Uh, the Basilique Film Festival um, um, is celebrating 30 years of virtuality movies. Uh, this is quite interesting. I can't, um, you'll, you'll get the link on my Twitter feed, but um, basically, um, 30 years of virtuality. It's a long time, and this is all about movies, basically. Um, of course, um, virtuality movies include everything from things like Tron and the Lawnmower Man, I guess, through to actual things, uh, you know, filmed more in more modern times in virtual living virtuality itself. Um, but um, interesting um, summary there, and a film festival dedicated to it. Um, I think Basilique is in France, but I can't be sure. Um, Basilique are the folks in Second Life who uh, did the uh, um, Paradise Lost production last year. Oh, okay. Fair same, enough. Yeah, it's the same outfit, yeah. Right, okay, so Basilique isn't a location, it's the... Um, it's, um, it's the, the in-world group, it's yeah. In At least I assume so, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because they've, they've been using their build for other events and what have you. Um. Cool. Let's see as fashion goes. <laughs> right. Um, again, other headlines here for Triati, colon, changing games or a game changer. How many headlines I've seen with similar titles recently? <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, destinations and freebies. Um, I, uh, this could well be the hypergazette.com uh, or um, 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 a number of other blogs uh, 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 talking about the spirit, spirit of Arcadia 7 and 8. Um, that, I'm pretty sure, is um, OpenSim related. Um, a very long article at um, 
Mrs. Ruiz net, I think. Um, M R S R U I Z dot net. Um, is uh, for people involved in education. This is instructional design principles in distant education. Yeah, that the the title of that long article um, probably will only ring bells if you're an educator. But in fact, um, it is a very long article and contains a considerable amount of um, stuff on virtual worlds. In fact, I think every picture accompanying the article is a snapshot from Second Life or Open Sim or um, somewhere like that. So although it doesn't tell you in the title, that is um, a, a worthy read, especially if you have an education focus. Um, Metaverse-traveler.blogspot.com. Uh, that's uh, Metaverse, the word we know, dash, Traveller, another word most of us know, uh, dot, blogspot, dot com. Um, the article is called Crowdfunding, Open Sim Development and Metaverse News. And that um, that looks at sort of uh, collaboration things uh, uh, between uh, grid donors and developers and things. And uh, the, the, uh, um, Open Sim and Hypergrid is very much an open source uh, sharing um, sort of uh, interlinked community. Uh, but this also discusses uh, the idea of actually crowdfunding um, some of the development um, side of things. Um, uh, Chick at Ebby's place uh, <laughs> C-H-I-C-A-T-E-B-B-E-S P-L-A-C-E dot blogspot dot com um, has an article uh, called Firestorm in Open Sim. Um, I'm actually using the Open Sim version of Firestorm these days, which um, is it, pretty much the same as the one they do for Second Life, but it doesn't support the Havoc engine because um, Open Sim does not have the Havoc phys physics engine. And um, uh, 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 apparently, um, uh, Firestorm people are going to be coming in here a bit to um, it's sort of like they're doing Second Life to talk about Firestorm, um, you know, with um, with users, um, but specifically um, over here in OpenSim and on the hypergrid. Um, yes, um, as I said, I posted it twice by the look of it. There was VR, Swiss Army Knife for VR. Um, hypergrid. Um, explorations. Um, you'll have to check on Twitter for the link for that. The same way. Oh yes, and uh, celebrating six years of In Worlds. In Worlds is the name of um, a, a grid. It's based on OpenSim code, but it's um, it's a wall garden like uh, Second Life. It's not actually. Uh, connected to the hypergrid, but um, it's a very great favorite for former creators or um, from Second Life and things because they get lots of prims to play with at a much cheaper price. Uh, but it is very much modeled on uh, Second Life and being a sort of um, um, a, a, a sort of self-contained um, grid. And I don't think they'll be joining the hypergrid any day soon. Um, yep, yeah, a couple of links there to the great Canadian grid, so do follow those. Um, I have an article here saying Stack Manager makes local servers easy to set up. And I have a feeling that article did relate to... Um, oh, I know what it is. Um, High Fidelity have re um, released um, a, a standalone app called Stack Manager. Um, which, um, whether or not you're part of the beta or not, allows you to uh, deploy um, what we would probably call regions in high fidelity um, on your own system. And the stat manager is a module that uh, you know helps you uh, administrate um, the various regions you create. Um, and I think that works independently, um, whether or not you're actually connected to the network that is high fidelity these days. Um, Plenty of posts, of course, from Adam Time with his um, daily news roundup. Um, I, I post links to this every day. Um, I have noticed that Adam has taken to quite a lot of opinion <laughs> on the, and controversy in some of his news. He doesn't just read the news. He gives you his thoughts, too, including um, thoughts on various um, personalities and what they're doing behind the scenes. Um, but very good way, if you want what, a video method of catching up every day on what's going on, um, if um, um, you, you can find a lot out uh, from Adam's broadcast. Um, eight ways Oculus Rift could eventually transcend gaming. Yep, that makes sense. Um, 
Oh, yeah. Um, uh, Virtual's Best Practices in Education, um, 2015. Ebby Altberg, um, keynote seeing and the final call for papers and sponsors. You can find more about that at, um, in our page blog, modemworld.wordpress.com. And um, what was I going to say there? Oh, yes, I had a brief I, I am with uh, Kevin Feenan um, um, about that earlier. I have to talk to him about some of the mechanics of that that we're involved with uh, behind the scenes um, during the week. Um, but uh, hopefully uh, next week or the week after, he um, or Leslie will be able to come on the program and tell us all about uh, this year's event which uh, will be happening in March. And um, uh, I gather that, um, uh, as on previous occasions, the event will be split between um, Second Life and um, Open Sim. although I have no details on exactly which part of Open Sim, what grid they're, um, they're going to be using uh, for that side of things. So that's coming up, I think it's roughly around the 20th of March. So you know, it's barely a couple of months away now. So the rush is on. Um, right, and um, I go dare to click um, on a link to a certain site called Hypergrid Business. <laughs> can, um, if I get this open, I can actually quickly um, summarize. Um, <coughs> I hope. <coughs> oh, pardon me. <coughs> Cough and splash it down the microphone. Uh, I open here from January 10th. Um, 2014 was the year of the hypergrid, and it was. Then it should also have been the year of the OMC. OMC, of course, um, Maria talks about quite a lot. It stands for Open Metaverse Currency, and it's the only currency which works on the hypergrid and is uh, backed by a trusted exchange, um, Austria's Fearwox. Um, but... Um, she reports, really, and I think she hinted at this last week, that it's actually been rather a bad year for that side of things. Um, so you can find that article, OMC is no good, very bad year, at hypergridbusiness, or one word, dot com. And I'm now going to stick my mouse on the um, big logo at the top of the page and load uh, Maria's front page to see uh, any uh, of the recent articles. Oh, no, which... Mal, that sounds personal. <laughs> no. Uh, um, no, my, yeah, okay, fair enough. <laughs> I, I heard my voice walking then too. Mm, a little, little bit. Tab, I mm. think. Okay, um, she uh, she had the article on the 11th, Virtuality Breeds Life into Immersive Storytelling. And um, on January 10th, a virtual oil spill in just six weeks um, about Rethink Communications, a Vancouver based advertising agency. And um, again, on the 10th, um, all this is, well, this is nearly a week ago, actually. Can Avi Worlds find stability under new management? Um, I'm not recovering this at the moment because the, um, I'm waiting for the old Avi Worlds and the new Avi Worlds to make peace and behave sensibly um, before I'm really prepared to go into um, all that stuff. Um, uh, and a new um, OS grid system um, has uh, passed its test, its first round of testing, its um, data replication successfully passed its round of testing. Still no, um, no idea as to when the actual grid um, itself is coming back up. And as I said, it was a fairly quiet week. That seems to be all we um, have on Maria's front page, although there are various other columns and things there. So do check out, uh, not only my Twitter feed, twitter.com slash Mal Burns, but uh, also um, Maria's uh, posts at Hypergrid Business. And I'm now um, unable to get a secure transaction. <laughs> Who knows what my browser is doing? I'm now closing it, which will hopefully improve performance here. I'm very sorry if um, my voice broke up at any point in that. So um, uh, uh, now it's um, my turn to hand over to Tara for um, all her take on the week. So over to you, Tara. 
Uh, thank you, and thank, thank goodness you. that the little cutout I had just then uh, cleared as you were as you were introducing me because I wasn't quite sure when you were going to be finished because I knew you were handing it over, but I couldn't tell. Uh, anyway, you did it, it, it cut back in before before you finished okay. your last statement. If if uh, if um if if the rehearsals behind the scenes before we went on there or anything to go by, I guess I should say hello to a very noisy white pussycat too. Oh well, I think he's finally yes. The the, the noisy white pussycat finally uh, gave up and has gone off, and isn't isn't in, in range anymore after giving me a very bad time here for a while. Uh -oh. Anyway, <laughs> greetings from the uh, from the uh, RL Sim and the uh, uh, U.S. Pacific Northwest, where it is raining raining uh, heartily today after a couple of dry days, um, and. Uh, Given the fact that we have lots of folks now covering open sim, I'm I'm sort of uh, mostly limiting my focus to second life stuff, just because that sort of makes sense. That since nobody else is talking about second life, I guess I will. Uh, anyway, there it's actually been I think relatively quiet on the second life front this past week as well. Um, uh, Linden Lab announced that they have added a new payment method uh, option um, called uh, Skrill, S K R I L L, to what you is know, I have to ask where, uh, not just Linden Lab, but where do people come up with these names? Oh, I, I think they sit around. They sit around and play with play with. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With scrabble sets, sets and, 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 and you know they, they start, start off with a with a real word, word and they and, they and then they start and they start messing with the letters anyway. Yeah, squirrel. I have no idea where that came from. Anyhow, um, at this at this uh, squirrel is apparently uh, useful for uh, folks outside the U.S. Uh, who may or may who may not have access to PayPal, um, and uh, apparently it's working out quite well. It's available under billing information under accounts. Um, for those who are looking for a different way to pay for uh, in-world purchases uh, or membership or uh, tier or that sort of thing. Um, apparently at the moment it's, uh, it's strictly for paying in, but they, they, their, their official posting says, uh, quote, we hope to also enable credits to be processed um, to Second Life Residents' Skrill accounts. Keep an eye for on this blog for more information. So. Uh, if, if this you, to you. I, I actually read read about that uh, sort of fairly, fairly casually. They um, the, the Skrill people are presumably an independent um, enterprise that uh, Linda Labs are just working with to facilitate. Um, yes, yes. yes. Um, be interesting if um, you know because there have been services before that sort of uh, working independently have allowed people to convert you know um, pay. Lindens into an account and then convert them to currencies that can be used in open sims and things. So yeah, well, this is yeah, this is this the diff the difference here is it's one thing to, you know, to move money around using Lindens, <clears throat> but this is basically you know for those who own land in Second Life, uh, who have memberships, who spend real world money in Second yeah. Life, um, then th those options really don't apply uh, a lot of times. Um, and this basically this enables people to set up Skrill as their payment method rather than a credit card. And apparently the setup for doing so is just like setting up a credit card for making those kinds of payments okay. uh, to Linden Lab. So it's a nice addition. And, and it's something that, you know, I know there have been, you know, there have been, comp I've heard complaints in the past about the, the limited options for people who do not have credit cards. Um, especially those people who are outside the U.S., because there are apparently a lot of places where 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 PayPal is not an option. Mm. So this is this is an option that is definitely expanding the options for those who are not in the U.S. I'm surprised. Um, or maybe it's just not big enough. But you know, if you if you want credit on Facebook or on Google Play or the App App Store and stuff like that, if um, you know, I just pick up a card in the supermarket for ten or fifteen quid and top it out when I run out of money and I'm surprised there isn't a Linden token thing like that around somewhere. Well, probably not. It hasn't been enough demand. Mm -hmm. um, anyhow, um, the, uh, the, the, one of the things that's kind of been an ongoing issue and there's been ongoing work on uh, of note over the last several months has been group chat in Second Life. Um, and um, they're, they're continuing to push out changes intended to make group chat more robust, 
uh, and it's definitely improved. Uh, the overall improvements have been noticeable uh, as far as reducing noticeable allow amounts of group chat lag, which has been a biggie. You know, you type something and half an hour later, it finally shows up in the group. Um, and uh, But uh, one of the problems that they still haven't resolved is uh, that apparently the chat servers apparently uh, lock up uh, every so often, which then requires a restart. Uh, and that's still being worked on. Uh, and there's additional testing continue, continuing. And as Lyndon has indicated that the lab aren't about to give up or on getting to the bottom of things. <clears throat> so that's that's good news for everybody who uses group chat in Second Life. And that's a significant, you know, there's a significant amount of use of that. Um, <clears throat> so that's one thing. Um, and the other thing I wanted to kind of do was um, there was a really handy summary. Oh, let me yeah, hit, hit two uh, two things. You pretty much covered uh, virtual uh, world's annual the annual virtual world's best practices in education conference. The dates on that are the 18th to the 21st of March for those who want to mark your calendars. And the final call for proposals has passed. It was the 14th, so that's back. But they are looking for volunteers. Um, and it's vwpe.org is the website for all things informational. Um, uh, and can I just interrupt a second, actually? Well, Pet loves here, actually. Uh, she's just mentioning something about somebody's echo, and can they back off from the speaker? Um, who, are we, who are we talking about, Pet? <laughs> uh, big echo on Tara's voice. Right, okay. Mm -hmm. And not yours and not winners so far. So, uh, Tara, and what... you were fine a few minutes ago. I have no idea what happened. I mean, I did wind I, up, I, I clicked on something and changed my position and then got back in my seat, but that shouldn't affect my sound with you. I don't know what to say. Yeah. yeah. It sounds like it sounds like Pet is bouncing up and down like that tiger and cat we had on last <laughs> week. <laughs> I pretty much am. Yeah, that's that's yeah. an apt description of things here. Yeah, I think I need to get out. You know. <laughs> <laughs> that's why they call. That's why they called you a pet. <laughs> that's right. You have to let me out at least once in a while. <laughs> yes. Indeed. For a run. Okay. okay. Uh, another another okay. upcoming event. Sorry. Another upcoming event to mark your calendars for um, is uh, Second Life uh, Second Life Sci-Fi Convention um, in support of Relay for Life. Um, this is uh, I'm not sure. I I think that's this has happened before. But anyway, it's uh, the dates for that are February 20th to March 1st, um, and uh, I'll paste the the URLs for these into chat later when I'm not, I, I don't multitask. I don't. That's good. Thank you. That'd be great. Uh-oh. Yeah. Losing you now. We're going to March 1st. Um, and uh, for Relay of, yeah, Benefit for Relay of Life, <laughs> Relay for Life, but to it, yes, we even talk, <laughs> talk and read at the same time. Um, oh, that's all right. <laughs> oh, this is their eighth, <laughs> conven this is their eighth convention since 2009. Um, ah. so it's uh, uh, oh and they have and they do have space available so if you're a, of a, of a uh, really, if you have a Relay for Life team uh, and want to get involved in this um, check out their information that's slscificonvention.wordpress.com sl and I'll paste that later and the other thing I wanted to do and I, and I have to thank uh, um, Hamlet's blog for this week for giving giving me a wonderful little summary where I could just grab all the links at once. Um, one of the things that's been going on in Second Life in the in the world of shopping for oh a couple of years has been this gradual increase in um, shopping events that are regular that like renew monthly that involve multiple designers that are clearly carefully screened. Um, so you won't see junk does not make it into these. <laughs> yeah. uh, and, and, and what's, what's cool about them is you, you have the opportunity to see one or two items, you know, a couple of, maybe a couple of items, um, from each designer and it's, and it will be a group of anywhere from 10 to 20 designers participating. And most of these, um, they change every month and they'll often have a theme for the month. Um, that that people kind of create around, um, and these and the items that are that are available at these are, and depending upon the event, some of them are uh, sold at a reduced rate. Uh, oftentimes, these are exclusives to the event. 
um, so that they're not going to be available elsewhere um, after the event. Um, and uh, it's a neat way to get acquainted with, with a number of designers uh, in, a, in a small space, as it were. Uh, anyway, but a, a nice co collected list of kind of the big ones that I'm aware of. Um, one called The Season Story, which just opened its uh, current round on January 10th. Um, which uses a theme and is a it's a winter theme. It's a winter romance theme, and the build is, is spectacular. If you're into snow and snowy kinds of, of scenes, um, and uh, that's uh, the the sim for that is the season story, and I'll I'll run all the URLs in on this later. Um, one of the things there's often been complaints about men's stuff and lack of men's men's wear. Um, and uh, there's one that's specially for men called the men's department. Um, and it's a monthly as well. Um, and their current month launched on January 6th. Um, abundance of layered outfits with vests, sweaters, jackets, et cetera. So, you know, lots, you see lots of mesh. Um, I mean, as far as clothes go, you probably won't see much of anything that isn't mesh these days uh, in, the, in these kinds of events. So it's a great way to see what, what things people are coming up with. Uh, the chapter four is probably one of the oldest of these, and it has four different rooms, and each room is functions a little differently. One of them is a two for uh, price. One of them is a fixed price. Um, there's a, a third one, and I can't remember what the third event third room is. And then there's a room that scratches, um, and that one uh, changes every month. Um, and the other one that's also quite long running called Collaborate, Collaborate spelled oh, yeah. with 88 on the end. And every and that's a fixed price of 88 or it needs to have 88 on the end. Uh, people do stuff that's more than, you know, that's 188 or 288 as well. Um, and, uh, and that one changes, period, you know, on a regular basis. Um, Colla the, the Collaborate has been a little, I think, wider... Uh, assortment, assortment of stuff. stuff. There's there tends to be more uh, home furnishings and buildings and some of that in the collaborate show, and then the last one, which is I think maybe the the most recent addition to this, called Custom Nine. That's cus custom with a K, um, and it's another another one with a round. You know, every month it it changes. It, they just just opened uh, their current round on the fifteenth, and it runs until February thirteenth. Um, and uh, Custom 9, to my eye, appears to have uh, a, a very strong presence of, of our Japanese designers. Um, there's there's a certain, some certain stylistic commonalities that, uh, particularly when you start looking at clothes, um, that I've noticed among, among the Japanese designers. Uh, and, uh, I mean, exceptional work. Too. But anyway, that's that's the additional one. So, so um, th these are all, as I say, these all of these I think change monthly, uh, and so there'll be you know a few days at the beginning of the month or the end of the month when they when they when they close down so that designers can change. And some, some of these, these also have some changes have uh, schedule changes in designers from one from one round to the next. So. Um, it's good way, good way to get acquainted with a lot of a lot of interesting work in a fairly short period of time, and to shop for new clothes. Um, and I think that's all I have. So I'm going to toss it back to you, Mel. Oh well, thank you, Tara. Um, inter interesting stuff there. Um, I um, I think I was getting the seasons thing confused with the the seasons hunt, which I always thought was a great um, kind of kind of hunt, and um, yeah, I also believe they've, um, you were mentioning the science fiction event, um, they also seem to be, yeah, they also seem to be promoting the um, Home and Garden um, Expo as well now, which I think is coming up before long, and that's another relay for a life event. That's yeah. And um, you mentioned something, oh yes, you were, you were talking about men. And there is actually a group in um, Second Life called Men's Stuff, which is one of the few, well, actually, it's one of the few groups I've never been tempted to leave yet, although it gets gossipy sometimes. And um, it, that's actually quite a useful group to belong to if you want to keep an eye on sort of um, new stuff for men. And they've, they, they've got a central sort of clubhouse sort of thing where they, they offer freebies and things like that. We're the focus on the men, indeed. 
Um, Open Symbia is becoming a bit like Second Life. It's, I'm finding umpteen things for female avatars, but not so much, um, so, not so much for men, um, as it were. <laughs> Anyhow, um, the other thing, of course, um, it, we to bring you up to date is um, hunts. And uh, literally about three days ago, um, we saw a new edition of Happy Hunting come online, which I posted in my feed. So this is my excuse to make a segue to Bet Love. <laughs> this new season, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it is. Um, in fact, uh, today we just had the Hunties Award Show, and uh, mm. you'll see that in lieu of the show next week. There were 15 categories, 15, um, I think 17, uh, they didn't want to use the word winners for some reason. They were being really politically correct. Um, they were like the most not most voted for or something. I forget what words they used, but um, it was great. It was real good. And yeah, happy hunting. People like it. Everybody yeah, should yeah, hunt. So, <laughs> yeah, I guess it's uh, for like Maria's um, statistics, isn't it? Um, the most popular as opposed to <laughs> the one that is declared a winner. So we speak. had, we were lucky enough to um, be able to showcase some really great creators and really great shops actually we we even um checked a few at the last minute because one person didn't remember that store and wanted to see it compared to the other one and um really a lot of really great designers and really um wonderful things that you can get in these hunts mm. they're terrific a lot of people put a lot of effort into it and they deserve a lot of praise and it's such, so good for the community you know it's such a nice community activity i'm surprised mm. more noise isn't made about it it's a great way to draw people together, have fun, share the love, you know, save some money, make some money. It, it benefits everybody. Um, a great mm -hmm. way to explore, too. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, the new program, in fact. So, uh, you know, I, I get feeds every day um, from, um, you know, the hunting. Is it, uh, uh, CEOs, oh, really? You know, mm -hmm. um, See? Oh, Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, they always post your show and stuff too. It says, but you know, literally every day there seems to be three or four new hunts, and then you know, an occasional post of hunts. That are there crazy. are hundreds of them. If you go to hunt yeah. sl dot com, yeah, there, that's um, it. that is a really terrific central um, resource, and there are hundreds of hunts. I don't know. I, I want to say like three hundred a month, but that might be a bit high. <laughs> <laughs> but we could find out easily enough. We'll just ask uh, Gia. Shia Nishi um, that's, that's runs it. That, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, yeah. That, that's the feed, I guess. And Rosemary Mendelssohn, their co-founders. Yeah. I think see, I think it's seasonal too. Winter time, I guess. Um, uh, Northern Hemisphere, anyway. People are indoors and stuff a lot more, and they, they, mm -hmm. they, they seem to be far more at this time of year than there are, I guess, in the middle of the summer and stuff. But. Uh, quite intriguing, as I said. I think there are always hunts on, and there are some that are super hunts, and some that have recurred often enough and been so, so good, like the Peace on Earth hunt. Um, it's hard to get anything unattractive or non-useful, you know, at 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 that hunt, and lots of other good ones too. It's it's great. It's great for everybody. We need some big hunts, uh, fun hunts over here on Open Sim, I think. I'm actually. looking forward to the first decent um, hypergrid hunt. Yeah. That'll be fun. Yeah, but hypergridding will have to get a little easier. You know, it's still yeah. a little challenging in some ways, but I know that that will improve in leaps and bounds this time Most next year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, most of it has sorted itself out. I know from, you know, the weekly hypergrid safari. <laughs> Mm -hmm. um, but you know we do come across some places, and this, especially um, open sims that are hosted on people's private servers. You know they don't right. have great bandwidth, and mm -hmm. they're not always um, up when you want them. They might but, not be home, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but the bigger, the bigger, uh, the big, the, the bigger grids, of which there are many now on the hypergrid, do you know it's, it, it works reasonably well. Um, you know, if it, uh, well, so I know you so guys have been doing it for a long time. Yeah, uh, you have to keep your high, your landmarks updated. That tends to be one thing. Um, uh, something that happened here when we came on the other week was that uh, a great Canadian grid altered its login <laughs> uh, for a final time, you know, mm -hmm. um, uh, for various reasons. And you know, um, everybody tried to come here to see what I was doing with the bookmark I sent, the landmark I sent them. <laughs> Couldn't get in. Um, all, all they actually, all I had to do was actually find a way to get them here. And then get them to take a new landmark, and it works perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. but, you know. Yeah, right. So there's little glitches like that. And the flavor of the week, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and because you're dealing with um, so many 
independent groups that are connected together, you know, different groups, that, uh, they don't really obey, diff well, some different rules, but, you know, one grid may go down for maintenance, but there'll be plenty of others still up, mm -hmm. yeah. and um, one may have one version of the OpenSIM code, another may have an older or newer one, and they're all more or less forward and backwards compatible, but there are slight differences that mm -hmm. sometimes um, affect things. <clears throat> but Aren't there 800 grids? 800 some grids? Oh God! Did that tell us, Maria? That, I yeah, think that's uh, where I got that number from. Yeah. Yeah, it's a huge amount, and yeah. um, it, in fact, it's a whole grey area of, of grids that can't be counted because mm -hmm. they're uh, behind firewalls. They're, they're they're actually on the system. Oh uh, wow! They're, they're, they're educational establishments, like schools, university, or get or corporate R and D. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. you know, they they could you know they are obviously not hypergrid enabled. Um, because they're private. But um, they're hypergrid you know, capable. Uh, uh, but they're hypergrid capable. So, mm -hmm. you know, there may be uh, an R&D site somewhere that is inventing things in confidence or whatever uh, using the virtual world. And, you know, maybe once a year they can have an open day and yeah, hide, all the a... hide, hide all the confidential <laughs> stuff and invite invite viewers in. To uh, you know, some 13-year-old would plug his Android phone into it, hack the software, and sell the next mm. movie, you know? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's. But yeah, it's a trip, huh? Yeah, people do get a bit nervous these days, you know, because everybody seems to be being hacked by um, everybody else. It's. Um, I want to make a movie with all those with the uh, NPC avatars speaking. This is a slight shift from the topic here, but it's the same concept uh, of hacking and spookiness and virtual capabilities that are so goofy. Yeah, I I am loving the NPC. There, um, what you know, fun! A lot, a lot of potential. I've I've been too busy sort of getting the environment here ready at the moment to actually script all the NPCs. I was really a bit I, I was a bit um, annoyed earlier that I hadn't one made one of Maria already because I was desperately hoping I could try and get her on the phone to be on the show and have have an NPC of her sitting in the seat you're in. But it was all too, it was all too, it was all too short notice. Right. And I don't even think her phone is stable enough for Skype. So, would it be okay if um, I came up here with um and and learned how to use the NPC machines here? Yeah, sure. Okay, but, and um, I'd, I'd like to do a couple of experiments. Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. I'm logged in here pretty much all the while. So are you? I okay. Show you what, and um, there, there's a load of in downstairs as you leave. The, the wall around the um, broadcasting center and go into what I call the back lots. There's a lot of instant ready-made scenery set up there. You know, it's no good for machinima because it's all a jumble in the long view. I want to come. Lots, mm -hmm. It's lots of small sets and things. And there's a, an entranceway there where I've uh, put down boxes with things like NPC toys and. Um, uh, um, a camera that I haven't got working yet, you know, the one. <laughs> and uh, various other things, um, you know, that, that people may. Oh, uh, uh, something, uh, something I'm making great use of, um, because uh, I know before the show we all get we all get rather concerned about our sit positions and things like that here. Um, there's uh, a, a basically an easy um, um, pose maker. Thing. Um, all I all I do is I I take an object with no animations in it, like this seat. Uh huh. Um, I choose the animation I want, although that can that can be changed later. And um, <clears throat> it gives me it gives me a temporary pose ball. Uh, well, it's not a pose ball; it's a pose plank actually. And I position myself on 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 the seat. Yeah. Oh, I'm getting a lot of. Um, heavy breathing coming here. I think Tara's that. slipping into dreamland. <laughs> <laughs> right. I thought, I thought it was winter. <laughs> no, it's not me. I got myself muted, so it's got to be better. <laughs> okay, then. Okay. Um, <laughs> Sleeping? Yeah, Moi? A, 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 anyway, yeah. Um, but these are very useful because um, every postball you raise is another prim and another script. Uh, well, no, it doesn't get around scripts, but it simply allows you to customize the animation in any object, be it a seat or, what, or a rock or anything mm -hmm, else. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And um, no more postballs. You simply, you don't even right click to sit. You simply single click an object and it puts you in, in that animation. And Have you ever you, seen uh, Resene be, be set up? Yeah, yeah, I Would love Would that work uh, with Resene? Would these NPCs work with Resene? That's what I want to try. If Resene could be brought over to this. I have Resene. Uh, I have it in my inventory 
Ooh, yeah, not here though. Two, yeah, yeah. Second life. No, resine would be a treat here. Wouldn't that because, be awesome? Because um, uh, uh, using resine in combination with NPCs would, um, you know, you could. I mean, if you. I'm really thinking of one of those big brawl scenes, like in the the Matrix, where Neo fights forty million. What's his name? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mr. Parker, whatever his name is. Yeah. Uh, I'm thinking of a big. Anyway, thinking of a lot of funny the, things. Um, Can we bring the NPC machine over to SL? No. Oh. SL doesn't allow them. Impressive. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Yeah. Uh, that it's one of the f really biggest differences, Sunday. But the, the potential of NPCs is absolutely fantastic, and yet it is not something. All right, so we're going to have to get reseen over here. Yeah. Not to cut you off. Yeah. Yeah. I'd, um, yeah, it'd be nice to uh, if I get into the SL again before next Sunday's show, a Saturday show. I mean, I'll uh, maybe try and find the guy who makes reseen and send him. And I am saying, can um, you bring it over yeah. here, please? Good idea. Good idea. Um, mind you, I've already done that with the people who do you make our camera hard in Second Life. And yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I haven't had a reply. You know, I think. Okay. I think the creator is long gone. Possibly. <laughs> and, yeah. Um, but uh, anyway, there's great. There's a lot of great stuff to pick up here, but. Um, I tend to find stuff that actually makes life very easy, but it does take a bit of work getting to know it at first because there's so many developers here who release open source code and scripts and things. And let's just say that their information about how to use it is not as clear as it could be. <laughs> so you have to use that as a practice and say, oh, it does that, does it? <laughs> and then once, once you know, you can keep your own notes and incorporate it into other things. So. Right. Um, it, um, it's actually fun, and um, you know, but for somebody who's got a library here already of about a thousand animations, you know, I can go every around every object on this land, be it a chair, a rock, um, or whatever, and um, put a single click animation in it. Um, and in, in fact, you yeah, and well, I'll thank you for not doing that right now. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> And actually, the best example is that the um, we haven't got a performance today, but over on the stage that um, next door here that we, we we use with a performer like last week, right? Um, you remember the country line dancing? Yes, of course. And that those are NPCs, but um, they're actually not doing a single animation. They're doing a chain of about twenty different uh, country line dances. Okay. About 30 seconds each, but of course they're chained, and you know, um, if you actually watch them dance, the repeat doesn't come. The repeat doesn't come around for five or ten minutes, if that. Decent. So, yeah, that's you know, great. You, you, you're not looking at like one of these bog standard dance balls where you know um, somebody goes left, right, turns around, goes on their knees, swivels, jumps up and down, and then jerk, it starts again. <laughs> uh, you know, it's uh, it's seamless, and there's also a lot of motion capture animation um, available out here as well, which is uh, you know much slicker than um, you know the old-fashioned uh, London scripted animation. Anyway, um, actually, Mel, you'll find the same the same uh, sophistication in in uh, newer dance setups in Second Life. Mm. Um, there's always been a limitation on animation length of thirty seconds. It's yeah. like it's like sound clips. You have a ten second. I limit. had to upload one for the uh, show today, just ten seconds, and I had to butcher it. I had to like re yeah. rewrite mm -hmm. the music because of that limitation. Mm -hmm. It was. A trip. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. You, with with care, you can slice and dice, you know, a piece of music into as many pieces as you need to, in order to get it, you know, all together. But then you need a script to make them play, and it needs to preload because if it doesn't preload, then you're going to get clip one playing, and then there'll be a little mm. jerky, jerky pause, and then clip two will play. <laughs> yeah. And if it's going the whole thing once, then it'll come back around and they'll play okay. But mm -hmm. um, it, it, it's uh, anything. Uh, easy to do. Yeah, yeah, forget it. And I have um, I have a lot of um, BDH animation files offline, mm -hmm. uh, motion capture and otherwise. And um, they, um, when you upload to Second Life, for example, and it's possibly the case here, it's not just the 30 second limit, but there is a data limit. Uh, so a complicated animation that is only 30 seconds might still be far too big. Uh, for the server, does it, uh, they, does it take like it, five thousand kilobytes or half a gig? It, or? 
it has to do with the complexity of the animation. If it's motion mm -hmm. capture, for example, and somebody's wearing uh, 50 attachment points, then it is going to be very detailed. Um, but, the, you know, it's going to record the animation of 50 different attachment points. Whereas to upload to Second Life, you, you have to modify the animation so that it works with maybe six or seven attachment points. And therefore, the file size of the animation gets down because it's only recording um, the movements from, say, the hand, the elbow, the shoulder, the, foot, the, the neck. And, you know, uh, whereas complex motion capture actually has far more um, sort of um, attachment points to the avatar skeleton. Mm -hmm. yeah, so, well, that's, <clears throat> yeah, that's, a, that's also a, a limitation on the avatar skeletons yeah, exactly. in Second Life. So, so it's like anybody who does animations to use in Second Life, um, before they ever try to bring it in, they're, they've, already, they've already modified their animation to work with the rigging of a Second Life avatar. Yeah, this is what I mean, though. If you have a library, or an open sim, or an open sim avatar, yeah. same. If, if you have a library of BBH files, um, it, it's not a simple matter just uploading them. Oh no! It, oh, you, no. Pre <laughs> you preview them offline, and they may be far too complex for open sim or, or second life. Yeah. 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 So they need to be simplified. Anyway, anyway, I get worried here because um, <laughs> we're time is we're forgetting about winter. winter, and we and need we to hit up here for winter. Yeah, I know. Now winter. Since I saw you last, you have acquired ears, and um, I know you sat down, but last time I looked, you even had a tail. What's happening? Oh, uh, yeah, uh, got a <laughs> tail. I am actually able to wear my ears and tail in here because there isn't the lag like I've experienced in other places, so I can actually dress the way that I want to be. All right. I, I have to say, actually, I'm 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 filming a backup, which normally doesn't isn't that good of this show. Um, uh, the movement of my camera in here today is just a joy. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing, Mal. The same thing. It's so fluid, especially mm -hmm. on this grid. Um, you know, awesome. it 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 just couldn't be better. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> Anyhow, winter. We rock. Yes, you yeah. do. We rock the great, great, great <laughs> the Casbah. Great, yeah, rock, rock the Canada grid. Yes. <laughs> rock the Canada grid. There we are. <clears throat> so, uh, uh, Winter, uh, you of course yes. are the editor producer of the Common Journal. You're right next door to yes. us downstairs. You just you just over the little sign that says over the little bridge that says Sim Crossing, and there you are. You've been rebuilding too. You've. Um, you still you still joined to us rather nicely, but you've um, rebuilt the sim more. How should I say a bit more industriously? Should I cam it. over there? You want me to take a trip over there? Oh, if you if you can do so without <laughs> completely. I think I, if I can find the bridge, I'll be okay. <laughs> yeah, well, the I mean, it's, uh, you got to remember you're five thousand feet up here, so it's a long. Yeah, I'm just going to say you're five thousand meters and he's at sea level, so that, so that's that's oh. your problem. Okay. It well, there is a way. Yeah. It's way down there. There, there are a couple of different uh, camera codes that have gone. Oh, look here. at this build. What level are we at here? Uh, 5,000 meters. Do you see it on cam? The shot um, I've got? My. Uh, my <laughs> oh, yes, I do. My I'm a pest, aren't I? Yep. Okay, there's I, the there sim down below. Secret hideaway. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have to move it. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> My well, bad. We'll have to, well, I, I'll, have to, I'll have to. Um, I want to film a guided tour of the <laughs> things as they're building up now. Actually, the most of the uh, design is done, and um, yeah, and winter's just. Uh, we decided when we came here that we'd take winter sim. Um, you know, it's like a media hub, and just blend our sims together, didn't we? We sort of kept the same ground texture. And um, some, yeah. of the same, some of the same trees that uh, nobody really notices the drawing, you know, which is nice. Yeah, and I've made a lot of changes that were no longer the uh, kind of the backyard look we had before. Now we, as you said, we're more industrial, we're more commercial looking um, to be more like a studio yeah. set. Or a number of studio sets, actually, were. Yeah. Mm hmm. And the same here. I mean, now, you know, we've really got people get people to come in here and do shows because between us, you know, we've probably got hundreds of different sets, different buildings, different designs. Between us and now.
the great Canadian grid has its own radio station. Indeed. So, Sweet. Yeah. Um, we, if any, we are moving forward. I've actually uh, put the, um, uh, the local radio station here for Canada into our parcel here because we don't actually have our own audio stream. So anybody come to visit here um, when we're not busy doing anything and they want to put their sound on, they'll be hearing the uh, Great Canadian Group's uh, radio. And of course, Roddy knows what he's doing too because he DJs, doesn't he? So, um, yes. And, and uh, I actually have... I actually have an interview with Roddy that I am going to be putting on the Grand Journal as soon as we're done here. I've just got to finish writing it. <laughs> oh, great. And then it'll be on there. And the other thing Roddy has made a point of, um, uh, he may have mentioned it on the shows he's been on before, but um, the, this grid is um, fully, really fully uh, licensed for music. So, you know, like a, a radio station. So, you know, there's no illegal streams here or anything else because the grid itself has the system in place under the Canadian licensing laws to um, allow anything to come in here, um, which is a nice security for performers and things like that because anything that comes in here is, you know, the royalties are paid to uh, the musical artists that are streamed and everything else like that. So, um, uh, you know, a good, a, a good stuff, you know, to benefit the, <laughs> the music that's coming in. And Roddy has all that sorted out too. So, Common Journal. <clears throat> what, yes. Um, you might as well give, give, give us a wrap up of your posts or your highlight posts, shall we say, for the last uh, few weeks, because it's um, about two or three weeks. Um, well, that's, I mean, the most recent one that we did was uh, the Lakeview Park Mall that they built here, which is the first commercial intended mall that's in 2015 in the mm. Great Canadian Grid. So um, we're just waiting for currency to start and then yeah. there's going to be lots of shops for them to set up. And I actually have my art, my photography gallery over there. Oh, uh, right. Studio City, as you know, was completely revamped. Um, that was hasn't hit the Grand Journal yet, but that will in a day or so. Uh, just because I was tweaking the trees and you know how it is, Mel, you get <laughs> yeah. everything set up and then it's like, oops, I want to change this. Yeah. Um, the job is never finished. There's always something to tweak. <laughs> what have we had in the last week? Uh, we had a party on the 10th at the, uh, here at the Great Canadian Cabin. There's impromptu parties like at least once a week and uh hopefully hopefully dj roddy will be participating in those more we had a party last night but he couldn't make it because they've been doing so much work with the currency and with the radio and and everything um let me see what else the uh there's an i i told you were talking about npcs there's actually an npc training class tomorrow um let me just read that uh, uh dress to look like the npc you want to make pack it all in your suitcase go to nara's nook yeah i will bring the scripts the tricks and a cute little npc kitty for everyone to take home and make on their own grid yeah i think so. i have i have, I that, stuff. So I, I have that stuff already but i'm definitely gonna make, i'm glad we don't do the show on sundays actually because anymore because i'm definitely gonna go to that um <laughs> now when, when is she oh, sorry i missed the the time on that, is that tomorrow that, it's that is, yeah, yeah. It's about Sunday, January eighteenth at one p.m. One p.m. Isn't it? Oh, yeah. please so, let I me mean, not be busy. It's 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 Ooh. reasonably early enough for me too, and um, yeah, oh, I should, uh, not, not going to work for me, but it's okay. Uh, Nara, Nara was actually on this show last week on our opening show and she brought along a tiger and a pussy cat and various NPC <laughs> avatars to show off and uh, yeah that cat uh, talk it, about I, jumping I was, around I was, mm -hmm. I was actually I was actually, I was actually here, here behind the scenes uh, making, photographs making photographs because it was your first broadcast here in open sim so I was mm -hmm. behind the scenes watching this cat Jumping all over, <laughs> and trying to trying to photograph you guys, so the cat would be standing in your face. And it, it was it was a bit much. I have to admit, we we tested it before we went live, and the cat was very well behaved, and thought, well, yeah, they can wander around. That's it's what they do, boy. I'll tell but, you. Um, yeah, as Tara will tell you. you know, <laughs> 
uh, at the moment you go live or leave them to their own devices, they suddenly don't behave very well anymore. Mm -hmm. yeah, they, 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 still, they, they expect to be the center of attention, and if they're not, they, they behave and made ways to, to, get, to become the center of attention again. Yeah. And the, uh, the only, well, actually the thing that just started, um, let me just, today, I guess, today was the start of the Home and Garden Expo over on Tangle Grid. Oh, So nice. they are yeah. playing that till the 31st. So, um, huh. as you know, Tangle Grid's very point. famous for expos. Yeah. So uh, I always try and make it, I actually have my, what I call my summer home there, I still have a region, a region there, um which is a couple regions over from the expo, so I just hop over and check it out all the time. Mm -hmm. I, I, I gave, uh, um, yeah, um, I gave Leslie a quick IM earlier, hoping she could uh, come instead if somebody didn't come, but um, uh, I hadn't heard, so. But yeah, it just seems like, um, I mean, it seems like barely a week ago and the Winterfest was still there. And, you know, the, yeah. what the things they told us was that, you know, that, um, you know, they have the fair grounds there. That's their big selling point. And, um, you know, there's obviously a swap over time when, you know, there isn't <laughs> there isn't one going on. Um, but this is uh, happening really quickly, you know, the winter first. Yeah, actu stuff. actually, I helped to write that schedule and they've got only maybe a week in between um, at some points. And then some points they've got like a month in between. Yeah, uh, they're doing a lot less expos this year just because it was so much work for everybody. Yeah. Yeah. But I believe the Winterfest Expo, the regions that they held it on have been preserved somewhere else. So they've actually kept those regions running elsewhere because uh -huh. it was such a popular expo. They had, I, I don't even have the numbers here, but it was over 100 visitors. Um to the Winterfest Expo. Mm. Cool. Mm. So, so this, um, time year, this, yeah. Yeah. this time next year it'll be a thousand. This time next year it'll be a thousand, we hope. <laughs> uh, we'll have to get Maria on it. Yeah, considering a, a yeah. relatively new grid, you know, not that going. Uh, yeah, they're yeah. actually only two years old, so mm. it's just over two years old. And of course, um, they've they've um, Tangle Grid has actually launched the same management have actually launched Westworld now, haven't they? Um, which is yeah. uh, I keep going the Cowboys. They were but it's a bit more than that. <laughs> they were having they were having some issues with Westworld uh, Welcome Center, I guess, or the Welcome Area in that. But I believe they've fixed those. So if anybody was having trouble getting in, they should go back to trying to get in don't and if give not up. they should contact Leslie yeah don't yeah. give up they are it's it's uh, it was a problem with the open sim um, the version 8 or whatever one of the versions that they had was not working out well so but now the new October I, 2013 one's working great right <laughs> Yeah. Just kidding. As a joke. <laughs> Sorry. I think, I, think, I think there were a couple of other snags because they um, they initially forgot that they they literally launched Westworld on as Tangle Grid under a different port number, and yeah. um, of course people searching for Westworld were you know they, they basically they, it was showing up as Tangle Grid on the map. Now it was a different port number, a different you know um, a different grid. But um, it was so confusing, so they've now got their, their own proper domain name and login URI. Um, but the other yes. thing I, I, I saw in Adam Times' broadcast um, oh, a few days ago is, um, I don't know what it's called, Danko Grid. Um, there's a chap who's been open since for ages called Danko somebody. Um, very familiar. I don't think I've uh, um, I've met him a couple of times. I think, but I don't think he's on Safari or anything. Um, but he also has a sim or a group of sims called Westworld. Um, now they are not. Um, now they're not a grid. They're actually named sims on Danko Grid, uh, if 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 my memory serves me correctly. But this was also com confusing people because um, I, I think uh, Adam, when he was trying to report the thing, somehow ended up on Danko Grid in a region called Westworld and he couldn't get into Westworld. I couldn't be more confused right now if you tried harder. Right. <laughs> yeah. That's, okay. that's, a, that's a story. That's like, that's the archives. The You know, this is like the new... Um, 
it's a new reality in so many ways, and we really are all on the crest of the wave, okay. right? Right? Absolutely. It, it, this is uh, fascinating, really. Yeah. I think it's... Well, okay. now, okay. <laughs> he was he was Dankoville in Open Sim is not... I thought Dankoville was a part of Westworld Grid. Like, they... Westworld Grid operates the same way that Open Sim Grid did, mm -hmm. does, did, whatever you want to. Does, uh, does. We're going to be optimistic. I thought, yeah, uh, <laughs> I thought Dankoville was connected to Westworld that way. Hmm. Okay, I, um, I, I couldn't, I couldn't speak with any authority. All I know, I, I was laughing my soul study watching Adam's broadcast where he sort of, you know, in search of Westworld, he ended up in something that was actually very different, despite the name. It was, um, <laughs> he, he, you know, he was on air and saying, "Where am I? What is this place? <laughs> How did I get here? This is on Westworld." <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that, I mean that actually is quite the, that's a bit of fun. Here we go. It's some of the uh, fun of the hyper. January Danko Dankoville has been running nonstop on Westworld Grid for two full weeks. That was in January sixth. Okay. He's also got Devoken, uh, Devoken, yeah, which is on Kitely. So he's uh, got the okay. two things running i'm actually looking at his g plus right now which is where i find all my information <laughs> uh danko whitfield that's it yeah danko uh, whitfield. Yeah. yeah yeah of course so the the what grid am i on where am i question <laughs> is really not a whole lot different than you know when you typo on a, on a url in a web browser um the only difference is that when you do that in a url you're just you know it, it we're, we're uh, clearly removed from those, but when you're when you're in avatar form <clears throat> and you land someplace weird, it feels different. That's half the yeah. fun. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's yeah, fun. You know, fun. If, um, I, he, he, he shouldn't have complained. He should have just explored and said, "The glass is half full." Whole new world. <laughs> yeah. 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 I think it was more of said it wasn't what he was looking for. <laughs> you know? well, nothing's ever what he's looking for. Yeah, um, that's why we keep looking. So yeah, that's the way. That's the way things are going. Um, I did do a. I did also a story on Kevin M. Thomas, who has moved into the open sim realm. He's a, a per singer performer. Oh. And uh, yeah, he's actually going to be on Kitely Grid. I can never pronounce that name. It's T H Y I L E A. Yeah. Yeah, it's a wizard's I, retreat on that region. <laughs> so. He's um he's quite good. I, I he um yeah Kevin Thomas. He, I think I get I don't know if it's under his name or another name, but um a lot of in my YouTube feeds I get a lot of um clips posted by him, but um. Sad to say, he tends to perform and dub the live music from Second Life or whatever onto a still picture. And to me, that isn't video, you know, and I think it's, very, you know, um, however good the music is, you know, I keep thinking, why can't, why can't you just film video? You know, even if it's dancing avatars, it's more lively than just listening to the music. Yeah, um, I, I actually went to listen to him perform in Second Life, and I was, he's quite good. Mm. Uh, I wrote a brief article about it on the Grand Journal, which of course I can't find at the moment. Um, but he is performing January 20th from 1 to 2 p.m. Uh, let me just read this. Kevin M. Thomas, fun is his middle name. He just spells it funny. Originals and covers, sometimes known for dual streaming shows with an amazing cast of characters and artists. Either way, Solo or duo, Kevin has always had his trusty goat by his side, which was with him when he was in Second Life there. Uh, George is the cutest thing on the internet. Why? He'll tell you that himself. So <laughs> Thank he's you. going to be performing <laughs> on January 20th. He's got the feel like, well, if he wants to, well, it'd be out to, yeah, we can't preview it, but um, might be an idea if in a couple of weeks' time or whatever, when we're, we won't be here next week, we'll be in Second Life, but... Um, Get him to come on our stage and do a couple of numbers and have a chat with us. If you see him, you might mention this. Or we could just go bust <laughs> him and see if he wants to be live streamed Monday. 
<laughs> oh yeah, okay, yeah, good, yeah, you could always set up and um, film. <laughs> It'd be like a challenge. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. Never. You know, not well, I without. Think it, I think you like getting this stuff up on YouTube. It's just that there's nothing moving in it. <laughs> so, <laughs> really? Uh, but yeah, I, 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 I can't say I played them all because um, they're not videos as such. But um, do you have a link I, for one? I, I haven't I, ever seen one. I, I do. Um, uh, not sometime. Uh, okay. Yeah. But, sometime. Yeah. I think his uh, YouTube handle is Kevin Thomas, but I, I will find out for you um, off camera at some point. I can't do it now. No, 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 that's fine. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Uh, so, what's um, what's coming up? Coming up. I mean, apart from um, Miss Virtual that World. And Narvis. Oh. <laughs> Miss Virtual World and, video. Oh, actually, mm -hmm. you may know. Yeah. Are there any more in in Second Life? The Avies. They did. The they, they, they've yeah. Had, mm -hmm. They've had they've had them, but it was only the fashion one. I um, think um, AVIs are are not part of RFL anymore. And and they the whole show was so big they had to break it into four or five segments anyway. And they're doing mm -hmm. like fashion. I don't know what else. Home furnishings you know home and i don't know home and garden expo is still rfl like everything else that i'm aware of is just uh is still rfl but the avis yeah. have split off apparently uh -huh. so um wish them all the luck in the world you know it's yeah. cool mm -hmm. yeah well, you can't have everything on it <laughs> so it becomes like a bit of a monopoly <laughs> they, I, didn't, I didn't realize the abbeys were connected with rfl with very much so they were yeah they sold um <laughs> tickets to attend and they sold um advertising they gathered sponsors and all the money went to rfl that was accumulated which was not an insignificant eh, i can talk insignificant amount mm. um yeah mm -hmm. but then <clears throat> I'd know nothing about anything except that I know that it's not RFL anymore. As far as I know, they, I may be proved wrong, but that's what I know right now. So, you know, you know how that can change. <laughs> so we'll see. But it was still, it was a great show. You know, Safi and Elric, it was all, they had um, performances. They had lots of people dressed up. It was fun. Always frolic fun. was, was the there act, yeah oh, frolic yeah. was one of the uh speakers did a great job as always oh yes yes mm -hmm. i read that yeah that it was it's Safia out and El <clears throat> did one past it and then frolic and somebody else did yeah i can't remember her yeah, name right now she's real nice yeah that movie is on of you and slartist and probably mm -hmm. i don't know where else probably you have it <laughs> yeah I'll mm -hmm. it, yeah for sure somewhere yeah there was a film of it so, yeah, Somebody's so, does that answer me. your question? <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, 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 yes. And I, I, I just remember something as well. Um, she couldn't make it today, or uh, she was going to try it, but she um, didn't think she'd be back in time for something. But uh, mm -hmm. ta uh, Tarvalin Gravoy. Oh, I good. Mm -hmm. we, we give her name. Um, I, I, I was talking earlier, and I didn't realize, because I recorded an audio thing for um, during the week. Mm -hmm. And um, I didn't, you know, I just casually asked if she was over here. And um, um, she is actually on Open Sim, and she too is going to be at Nara's. Oh, that's tomorrow. great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, and, she's going to um, be working on One Billion Rising. You know, that's coming up. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. that's it. Yeah, I know. Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. Valentine's mm -hmm. Day. Yeah. I I can't say I've noticed Valentine's Day except for that. Really? <laughs> I, well, I, I I finally I finally remembered that the two things are the same day. So I'll think of One Billion Rising instead of Valentine's. I'm not going to think I about guess. it at all right now. Yeah. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> I'm trying these, not to think about it. <laughs> all, these, all these days and festivals. And <laughs> no, I'll, they I'll, wrote I'll, a song for that event I'll, I'll, two I'll years ago. Well. Yeah, and you filmed it. Uh, we oh, made a great uh, film. It was I, 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 I filmed. Safi and I edited. Safi produced the whole thing, and the Dazzlers were incredible. That um, was in the feeds just the other day. Um, I don't know who, it might have just be somebody reposted it or something, but it popped up again and mm -hmm. I thought, now is that the same one? And you know, it was just so good with that, because that song. That song is, is just gripping. Just, it's gripping, know, it's, it's gripping. riveting, it's yeah. It's it's quite a song. I'm sad yeah, about the tune. It's a great tune. It really <laughs> is, yeah, amazing. They pulled a blinder, I think they say, in London or something. You know, they, they really pulled an ace out, out of the hat with, yeah. that, or with that song. 
Tina Martin, maybe. But anyway, yeah. Um, yeah, that's coming up again. That video does keep getting lots and lots of hits. Mm. And I have to say, it was a great effort. In fact, I'm going to find mm -hmm. it and put the link in there somewhere. So yeah, we're doing it again. We're not going to broadcast <laughs> yes, yes. for 24 hours again this year. I think we're only going to broadcast maybe six or eight. And I, I am putting out a call for camera people. If anybody can live stream, they're welcome to do an hour or two or three. There will be performances, a lot of drums, special drum things. Lauren Tone is going to help out. And, um, and, I, and again, I'm bad on names. But it'll be a great, big, beautiful event once again. What day of the week is it this week? I think it's a Tuesday this year. Oh, right. No, February. no, no. Wait, that's January. Wait a minute. Mm, I lied. It's Saturday. Oh, right. So <laughs> before, before we'll actually have a show that very day. Well, no, mind. Might as well do it at One Billion Rising. You can stand around uh, instead of sitting. Good idea. Well, be something yes, different. actually, it'd, be, mm -hmm. it'd probably be appropriate to do it in Second Life that weekend, whenever it comes up. Yeah, no, because that is um, that is um, a, a great event. I certainly think Relay should um, get more involved over here too. I know that Inworlds and some of the other closed grids have their own Relay for Life uh, events. Give it time. Um, give it time. There probably is. Is there some Relay for Life on this grid? No, not, not yet. Or, mm -hmm. or, or um, I ha I haven't really seen their presence that I'm aware of on um, the hypergrid at all. I've seen well, them in, if in people want to do it, they will, won't they? Yeah, close mm. it's like in world and stuff. And mm. uh, actually, this comes back to something that uh, Winter mentioned, um, uh, which is currency, because of course, uh, relay for life is about raising money, mm -hmm. and of course, um, uh, as um, we're, um, oh, this found is the, is this the grid that doesn't want to have an economy? But well, no, 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 you this, do want this, currency. Uh, here. No, th this grid. This grid, well, on here, Great yeah, Canadian, okay. is that opposite. It's getting its own new currency. Okay. Um, and uh, that be coming online soon. And Winter mentioned this earlier um, because he was announcing uh, the shopping centers that have been built and the great stuff that's there. And, of course, um, that is waiting on um, the new currency to a certain extent. And I'm very... I don't know whether you know anything about this, Winter. I'm... I'm I'm sure that um, Pet and Tara probably don't, but um, when I click on buy something in, um, uh, in on the hypergrid, um, <clears throat> my Firestorm viewer, at any rate, and um, I'm not sure about Singularity, um, pops up a Linden window. Um, unless it's yeah. free, because if it's free, you can buy it for free. That's all the, all the stuff on this sim I've marked as you know buy for free rather than take copy. Um, <clears throat> but um, I get this window popping up that is obviously a link to Linda Lab's site. And sorry, we you know we can't take your money at the moment or something like that. And it's really Despite annoying. Despite our best, our best yeah, well, efforts, we are unable to complete your request. That, that's it. And I suddenly thought, well, this is a bit bizarre because okay, let's say you know we we we've got the new currency on this grid in say a month's time. And I go somewhere and want to buy it. This Firestorm viewer is going to keep popping me up this box that goes to Linda Labs, and I think it's probably a glitch in the viewers. When, no, when it, uh, I actually use the Firestorm viewer on Tangle Grid. And <coughs> Tangle Grid has their own independent currency. Right. Um, so your viewer will. Uh, at the time, you'll have to re refresh, and your viewer will recognize the currency on the grid. So you oh, won't okay. get that that, uh, that that default second life, because all the viewers are based. Well, not all of them, but a good portion of viewers are based on second life. And mm -hmm. anywhere you look on your Firestorm or your Singularity or your, I can't even remember the other one. But uh, when you click down menus you'll see bits and pieces of second life floating around on various yeah. things so yeah, there was a... that is that's just the default that it goes to because there's no currency uh connection here at the moment right 
Yeah, there's. Um, I, I've always thought we need a new um, viewer that you know removes all the Linden stuff <laughs> and focuses on what is just in the open metaverse. Because, um, open to yeah, yeah um, you know, on the uh, hypergrid or whatever, because there, there are too many Linden um, sort of legacy things around. Um, yeah, but you know, it it, it probably come, but. Um, yeah, as you say, um, they're, they're all the viewers, even Firestorm, you know, which is very customized and very good, you know, just, you know, all the defaults <laughs> go to Linda Lab still, even though we're not <laughs> in Linda Lab, you know. It just, it, it just, it just seems <laughs> odd. It's intrusive, I think, to get the second so light box. It's the ghosts of Linden Lab and, <laughs> and open Zoom. Yeah. The mother of us all, right? The mother load. There we are. <laughs> But that, that's very good news on currency. That, that's very good, uh, news. Very good news on currency because, I mean, if we want to do anything, yeah, yeah. And everything here at MetaWorld is meant to be open for people to use and community focused. But, you know, if we actually want to do any other stuff that maybe involves selling stuff or something like that, uh, it's good to know it would be fairly easy for the uh, participants to do it. And Hypergrid will play a major role in that in some way, shape, or form. I'm not sure mm -hmm. how, you know, exporting and everything, all that works with how it will be with Grid Canadian Grid. That's mm -hmm. something you'll have to ask Roddy. <laughs> um, but I am I'm one of the pro Hypergrid people, so I'm always saying how great Hypergrid is. Um, I've seen nothing but positive results from a grid adopting the hypergrid system yeah More and the uh, merrier well, <clears throat> mm -hmm. and the main thing yeah. we've seen from um, every from, from tangled i guess to third rock and, e and even here is um most of this grid is hypergrid enabled um but not always fully for example on on private estates here um you can't take anything out of this grid to the hypergrid yeah. But you can bring stuff in from the hypergrid and people can visit and come in and out. It's just that <clears throat> what belongs on this grid belongs on this grid. So if you buy something here or pick up something for free here, it doesn't matter which, you can't actually put it in a suitcase and take it out. Uh, we, 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 yeah. uh, we've had this. And I think that'll, that'll evolve <laughs> as, as time goes on. I think hmm. what it is is Roddy has taken a very protective stance when it comes to his members. Yeah. And he only, when he makes changes, it's after talking with everybody here and trying to get a sense of what people want. That's why we had the, the change in currency because people didn't like Virox and they didn't, um, they wanted their own currency and that's what they're yeah. making happen. But he, he does things slowly, but it gets there. He likes to make sure everything's working and everything's secure before, yeah, before launching it. Well, it's adaptable too because on 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 this sim, um, um, everything is fully hypergrid. So if um, if I, if you were to pick up something on this sim, you will be able to take it out by the hypergrid. Uh, but that that yeah. that is in the ini file for this sim. It's not in it's not in the grid. Um, master. No, that's, and, that's, that's and presumably we would have to leave from this grid to a different. You would have hypergrid out of from this grid. From this sim, in order to to take something out. Yeah. Well, basically, um, I I presume it's like um, for the other fully open grids. If somebody uh, picks up uh, my you know uh, pose maker, um, it will go into their suitcase rather than stay on this grid. If they're a visitor, if there's somebody already on this grid, it will go into their local inventory, but they will be able to access it when they're outside this grid. But that's only for stuff that you pick up on this region. In fact, this particular parcel, um, but it's 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 not set up that way on the grid as a whole. But what I like is it's adaptable. You know, we could say, okay, we'll we'll do it that way. You know, for the, we we had a very funny situation a few weeks ago because um, um, things change. I mean, uh, first of all, there, there was a change of login, so. Um, you know, a final change, which meant that old landmarks to here didn't work because they, the landmark had the code for the wrong login. So they had to come here again by some other route and take a new landmark and that works fine. 
but also I tried to give landmarks to people who were on the hypergrid and it, it refused to let me export a landmark to give to people and yeah, you know how bit, uh, uh, Roddy, in fact that we brought this up last week Roddy was saying this is definitely something you know that has to be changed because um, you yeah. don't think of a landmark as um, a piece of property you know like your 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 leather jacket is <laughs> So yeah, the, the more they were, were, were weren't they making changes to make landmarks and calling cards exportable? Oh yeah, it's changed. Yeah, yeah, they, they uh, yeah. yeah, they okay. they they sorted it out pretty quickly because um, when they realised the the practical implications of that, then um, they had to, they had to make some things exportable. But um, yeah, it's all the fun but game. It, it's the good, it's the, you know, it's so uh, uh, it, it's like an energy thing to be involved in all this and seeing seeing this grid well, in particular, that, fixing glitches within moments sometimes. That's and that's that the one thing I like about about the Great Canadian Grid. I mean, if you have suggestions, you know, nine times out of ten they're going to become reality by the end of the week. Yeah. <laughs> um, he's really open to suggestions uh, and he's yeah. open to listening to everybody here. So. I want that in uh, real life. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, that is real life, isn't it, really? In well, I don't, we're just, uh, uh, wouldn't you love to have that in Second Life? You know, just <laughs> send, a, send, send a great message down the line and it's fixed within the hour. You know, wishful thinking. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> so, you know. We, uh, you're, you are right, though. We have had that happen here where something's gone wrong. <laughs> And all of a sudden, Roddy appears, and yeah, I'll take care of it. Choo, choo, choo. Hey. <laughs> so that's good. It's uh, it's nice to have a and another uh, responsive yeah. grid owner. Yeah. And, 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 of course, and, the yeah. other the other factor in all that is is size. Um, you, you a single individual you cannot scale. Yeah, <laughs> there are only twenty four hours in the day, and some portion of those need to be dedicated to something other than maintaining one's grid if one is going to survive as a grid owner yeah, yeah like eating <laughs> well i think you know because of his personality um like i am one of the, i'm part of the support staff there's at least what a half a dozen of us that work on the support staff so we're when he's not on we're on to help new members or to you know provide landmarks or to to guide people around so a lot of i think that has a lot to do with roddy as well it's he's he's great to work with so everybody wants to to volunteer so. and of course um uh Chikeon is on the um oh that's board, great she, she, yes. she, yeah. she's basically um hypergrid support specific but right, of course she's there. Is it, uh, I forget the name of the region. Is it Grayville or no? It's not. Um, uh, Park, is Parkville. 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 That's it. She's got a. Um, uh, that's something we should uh, mention. She's that's got a, a nice wonderful. Region. Yeah, she's got a really rural, nice uh, landscape region below, and then on a higher elevation, where up in the sky, she's got an entire city, and um, it's got hypergates in it too. But it's sort of set up more like a city. I think she has. Private that stuff. sounds great. I think she has quite a lot of private events there, and um, I think her Melville will also be at, at, um, Evans, as he first be called, is over here a lot too. Oh working man! With her. I just found in one of my emails about a hundred, or maybe even two hundred um, notices from Shelby and I guess Chick. I don't know. Um, Thinker, the two yeah. people you just mentioned. Yeah. Those guys are productive. <laughs> oh God, yeah. I mean, Selby is good grief. Selby, Selby has won awards. Amazing, the, um, outstanding achievements in Second Life, and outstanding Brilliant. achievements for Brilliant. He, he deserves and, every bit of it. My God, um, outstanding achievements to hobos, and out yeah, outstanding right? achievements for Geomeek, and uh, but yeah, lots of outstanding stuff. And um, I'm hoping the, uh, I, he couldn't make it the other week when I invited him, but it was nice to get him back on the show, especially as he's somebody who's over here. He, he's um, he's always logged in here. I don't know how he has time to do stuff in Second Life anymore, uh, like me. But um, um, Mel, uh, there's been a question raised about time, and 
Oh, sure. Uh, um, it yeah. be appropriate to uh, start wrapping because it's been about an hour and a half, and I know you're trying to keep I, within that now. Yes, indeed. Uh, fasc yeah. Fascinating stuff. Um, uh, you know, I tell you, even without guests, we can keep this show going forever, <laughs> can't we? Um, Absolutely. Yeah, very, very good. You know, I have temporarily forgotten that we are now that we're now keeping it to 90 minutes. So, um, <laughs> let's see. I think we'll just go straight into what I call the, um, the, the, the closing roundup, where I go around everybody in turn and say, um, get them to say, you know, um, any, you know, forgetting the virtual world or including the virtual world or whatever. Um, any highlights in the past week and any great stuff coming up in the next week? So let's start with Penn. Just get ready for one billion rising. They need volunteers. Keep watching Happy Hunting, <laughs> um, Hypergrid, and thanks for having me on the show, Mal, once again. Pleasure. You're always welcome. In fact, you're especially welcome because you have... I know, right? Poor Mal. <laughs> Mal needs no, camera really. people, too. You know, you have a chance to be a Hypergrid camera person. Uh, just, you know, I am me or Mal or Tara or Winter <laughs> if you uh, want to uh, yeah. learn yeah, how to yeah. be a videographer. Exactly. Virtual videographer. <laughs> exactly. You are, the, you are the best, but we will suffer. Others. I am not the best. I am a <laughs> calamity. I'm like a disaster. <laughs> but you put up with me because I work really cheap. <laughs> now, I'm, I'm half kidding. It, you know, I love what I've learned. I'm going to be transferring my skills that I all learned entirely in the virtual world to the um, local township here. They have their own TV station, you know, lots of places and they wanted volunteers i was like i am so there and we talked i talked to the guy and he's like you already know you know it'll be great to have you it was nice you know yeah so i'm very excited about that that's going to be in a month or so they're starting up in the spring a new crew oh, yay, 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 yay. <laughs> mm -hmm. so you'll be behind the organic camera for a change <laughs> uh-huh i'm ready for it too I, i'm really yeah. excited Oh, no, no, that's, uh, that's a great change. So, see, yeah. virtual worlds can take you all kinds places, of places. Places you never dreamed of. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yes. that too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> winter, winter, good to have you here again. Winter. Anything exciting from the Thank last you. week or coming up that you haven't already mentioned? Uh, no, nope. just keep keep reading the Quran journal. Um Everything that's coming up and everything that's been should be in there. And if not, submit it to me. Uh, you can find me on G, G Plus, and I usually put my email up there. And uh, I love publishing stories on events and activities that have been taking place in the open sim. Indeed. Well, not to mention, and not to, not to forget things like pictures of avatars just resing the first time. <laughs> you have to res a box so that they're not parading around and they're all together. And, and I want to see these NPCs attacking live avatars too. I, I can't wait to see that. <laughs> I want to see that video. <laughs> I've got those pictures. Somewhere. Oh, I'd love to see at yeah, least we one. <laughs> we were we were taken hostage yesterday by a couple of NPCs over at the cabin, and they I'm locked dying. us in the cabin and we were dancing. Uh, they're all, they're all nobody. Could, Nobody could leave. There are, the doors were locked. There are limits to what NPCs can do. I, I, what I find out, no, it's not the true now. No, the real shame is when you're putting them in things and setting them up. You can't, you can't inhabit them and move them like you would do. You now can set them up you. with something like Resene or a complicated set of post balls or whatever. You know, here if, I'm sure there's a way to work with what what's you, here already. You, you get re-seen in here and we'll be away. <laughs> that, that, I'll get something in here. That, 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 that is an amazing system, re I, I, I Actually, it's so, it's so amazing. I never quite got to grips with it fully. So. It's not, it's, there's a bit of a learning curve. A bit, bit of a learning curve there. Mm -hmm. yeah. And if you try to do it at 10, 11, 12 o'clock at night, yes. Pet Love won't be able to join us this week. Oh, yes, she will. <laughs> click, click, click. <laughs> oh, right. that, that's, it, uh, that's right, because I'll be leaving hundreds of them all over the place. That, that is, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, great. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that's how I've got to admit it's got favorite functions I thought of immediately. You know, so oh, I'm, I'm something happened to the volume here, folks. I'm Sorry. 
I hadn't already uh, got some and entered to Maria to <laughs> flunk her in the seat while we were <laughs> she was not here. Well, she's anyway, the perfect anyway, one. Father, mm -hmm. oh, round up. Yeah, well, um, probably the item that didn't really, it didn't really quite get adequately mentioned <coughs> earlier in the show is that uh, uh, Meta World Broadcasting has been joined by uh, Melbourne's Estate and Tara Incognita, two additional sims that are mm, neighboring. Cool. Um, and so uh, that has been a bit of activity this week and will continue to be activity for the, <laughs> for the foreseeable future. Um, and, and, and the good news uh, for Mal, anyway, was that uh, the uh, um, the ore file uh, for his uh, old estate at Reaction Grid, which has been sitting on my hard on a hard drive of mine for oh, two or three years now since Reaction Grid closed, um, came in and uh, <laughs> and rezzed remarkably well. Nice, <laughs> so that's great. Yeah, um, there were various odd, uh, you know, many odd items that were kind of floating in the sky. You know what? Um, I, I have an ore. Uh, one of those files I'm going to give you. Sorry to interrupt you. <laughs> yeah, well, the trouble with an OR file is that it completely, it completely, you know, it's the entire sim. Right. Mm -hmm. and it's not, and we're not talking, we're not talking about uh, uh, land, just terraforming. We're talking about everything. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the hope was that, well, maybe some of some odds and ends of things that he had acquired at, uh, in Open Sim uh, that have been unavailable because of the Open Sim problem. Um, uh, OS grid problem uh, mm -hmm. might be uh, still still around because he had res them in uh, the in the reaction grid, and indeed that turned out to be the case. I mean, you know, the, the house that I built there was hey, there it is. That's great, excellent. <laughs> yeah, lots mm -hmm. of things. Um, yeah, good. And uh, so so that was that was all to the good. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. I I I I, I haven't mentioned that, haven't I? Um, yes, indeed. <laughs> um, Basically, to the south of the Metal World Broadcasting Sim, um, I suddenly thought, well, they did offer to bring an ore file up, and I thought Tara said she had my old reaction grid estate, so I thought, do that. And um, it, uh, we got it at um, a grandfathered price, and so, um, <laughs> which is almost nothing. <laughs> and uh, Tara brought up um, an adjacent sim for herself, too. So, yes, we got um, a bit, uh, uh, what I think is the nicest thing is the south side of this sim, the sort of mountainous background for camera, um, is the north side of my estate. So um, with a bit of blame with textures, they, the, two, the two sims join perfectly. And you know, it, I've it, got to take a walk. Yeah, and it, 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 also, it also means I can, be, you know, I don't need so much of that mountainous area on this sim because they, they kind of overlap. Yeah, but um, the, the, the part on this then becomes foothills. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but if, if you're standing looking at the outside area, what I like about it is that, you know, there's a bit of low terraforming, then there's foothills, and then there's really high mountains in the background, which if we'd done those on this sim, they, the, the height of the mountain they, would they also would, take... Would, or, I, I would never have put something that tall on this sim. Yeah. Because it just so, wasn't enough, enough yeah. distance for them to work. So it all blends nicely. We've got Meta World Broadcasting here, and then I've got my own little estates in next door. And uh, Tara's quite right in that I did recover a lot of stuff. Unfortunately, what I didn't do, which is something very easy to do, is you can, um, uh, we used to use, um, I forget what it's called now, it's like I'm to do this, but you can make a container and literally copy your inventory into mm -hmm. a container and then make it sit on some land. And it's your entire inventory of how many thousand items is just one prim. And of course, if you save an ore file with that container in it and you've got all the perms, then... then you get um, it back, you, yeah. Where, yeah, when mm -hmm. you bring up an ore file again, you get it back. You can also yeah. back up inventory, but that's a different sort of matter. Anyway, uh, yeah, we need to wrap. Yes, indeed, we do need to wrap. So uh, with that, oh, what the hell, I'm just going to go out. Um, uh, thank you, everybody, for being here. Thank you to Winter. Good to see you again, and hope to have you back soon. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, thank you to Betlove for both camera and her beautiful conversation. <laughs> thank you, Mel. You're very welcome. <laughs> and thank you, of course, to Tara for reminding me that there's a place called Second Life, amongst other things. <laughs> oh, you're most welcome. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> you, you have been watching the In World Review, brought to you in association with AVU TV and live from Metal World Broadcasting Studios on the great Canadian grid, somewhere on the hypergrid in the metaverse. You're going to have to add that to the backdrop, you know. <laughs> yeah, I know. And also, if you'd like to watch this program in replay in glorious high definition, um, HTML5, it will work on your iPad, your Android pad, your smart TV, and whatever, um, as well as the normal places, of course, good old-fashioned computers, for one thing. Um, go to slartist.com, S-L-A-R-T-I-S-T.com, and um, they house all our weekly archives of this show, um, as I say, in glorious high definition. Um, so, with that, um, I will say um, good morning. <laughs> well, it's, it's not, it's not, yeah, but that's inside the <laughs> say point. Adieu. And good, yeah, <laughs> good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or indeed good tomorrow, depending on wherever and whenever you are. <laughs>